Oh, get ready, the evening shadows fall. Don't you hear the Eliezer call? There's gonna be a wedding, our joy shall soon begin. When the camel train comes in. Thank you for your support of Honest News Network. Well, folks, I don't need to tell you that lawlessness is going to abound. Iniquity shall abound. I don't need to tell you that if you know your Bible. But I will tell you this, what just took place just today, a little while ago, is causing a real uprising right now. Are you listening? Without question, we're headed towards civil war. Lawlessness is going to abound. And uh, there's really no staving this off anymore. There's no uh, holding this thing at bay anymore. It's inevitable that this country, the United States, is headed for war. Right here in this country. Because those that feel like, not just that it's a feeling, but those that are having their constitution taken from them, having their republic taken from them, uh, are not going to idly just sit by and let that happen. Are you listening? Comparing to the the uh, the Democrats, really the lawless ones, the actual communists in our country that hate this country, that hate law, that hate the rule of law, that hate order, that they are going to be a a uh, you know just a picnic comparing to those that believe in the right to bear arms and those that base that upon the Constitution of the United States. Are you listening to me? They're getting ready, supposedly, they're getting ready to descend upon Washington, D.C. Well, I want to tell you that we know these things have got to come. We know these things have got to happen. But I want God's people to understand what our responsibility is in the midst of this war or this storm that's brewing, we need to understand, brothers and sisters, our place. Amen? We never stop putting our trust in the Lord. We never stop being a peacemaker. Amen? Nowhere does Jesus tell us to quit being a peacemaker. So we're not supposed to be a troublemaker or be part of the trouble. Amen. We begin our lesson in Matthew 24, verse 12. Now, normally I don't give only one message a day, but I really felt the Lord would have me to give this to his people tonight, this evening. It's urgent. This is serious. God's people need to know their place. We need to be positioned in Christ and know our place. Are you listening? Matthew 24, verse 12 says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Lawlessness is going to abound, and the love of many is going to wax cold. God's love in your heart does not need, in any measure, need to wax cold. 
You can stay on fire for the Lord if you will stay in prayer. If you'll stay in, in his presence, if you'll stay in the word, amen? If you will pray fervently without ceasing, if you'll stay on your knees, if you'll fast and pray, God will give you a charge. He'll give you what you need to be able to stand in this hour. Are you listening? We're in the evil day that Paul the Apostle spoke of. In the evil day, having overcome all, stand and stand therefore. Dressed in the full armor of God. Psalm 91, beginning with verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place. This is where the overcomer is going to be until the overcomer is caught up to God and to his throne in the secret place. Are you listening? In the secret place of the Most High. There's no one higher. Are you listening? And when Paul the Apostle spoke about being caught up or spoke about uh, pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling, the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. There is no higher calling than the call to come up where the Most High is. Are you listening? Praise God. He's calling us up, folks, into his very throne, into that high and holy place. Glory to God. Now, we need... In this hour, in the coming days, we need to be abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. We must gather under the shadow of the Almighty. There's not going to be any other place safe. That's the only place safe. Amen? I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He's my fortress. He's my God. In him will I trust. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. The Lord is our refuge. He's our fortress. Amen. We don't need to be afraid. Amen. Glory to God. Surely he shall deliver thee from what? The snare of the fowler. I've been preaching to you. There's a snare coming upon all the earth, upon the whole world. But you don't have to be caught in it. Amen? You don't have to get caught up in that snare, in Satan's rapture, if you, if you will. Satan's got a wants to catch some folks up. No, you can escape the snare. Amen? And from the noisome pestilence, you don't need to be afraid of the viruses, you don't need to be afraid of the COVID-19, none of this. Amen? Whether it's man-made or not, you don't need to be afraid of it. Praise the Lord. We know the Bible says the great men of the earth, the merchants of the earth, that they're using sorcery to deceive the nations. And the word sorcery is pharmacy. Right now they're getting ready to roll the vaccine out in pharmacies all over America. I've been telling you for years, if you've been listening, the United States is, was always going to be used as a prototype, if you will, a testing grounds, if you will, for the world government. That's why the world government is set up just like the United States government. That's why George Bush Sr. said, what's at stake is a, more than a small country. It's a big idea. Are you listening? Now, I don't know if Donald Trump is part of the New World Order or wanted to bring us in the New World or not. I don't know that. But I do know Joe Biden does. He's been calling for a New World Order. But you don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be worried. 
Amen? The Lord said he'll keep us from the snare. And he said, if we'll watch and pray, we'll escape all these things. And the noisome pestilence, you don't have to be afraid of it. Amen. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence, did you see that, that walketh in darkness. Yeah, that looks a lot like COVID-19 to me. Pestilences, walking in darkness. Amen. You don't need to be afraid of that. Praise God. Nor for the destruction that walk wasteth at noonday. Amen. Glory to God. Now we won't go into the next part of this, but you know the Lord's been giving Brother Joseph dreams about nuclear weapons attacking the United States. But we won't deal with that right now. Listen to this. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. What does it say? There shall no not sure what's going on here. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You don't need their vaccine. Amen. If God is not able to keep us, if he's not able to protect us, from viruses and, and, and pestilences and whatever may come. Amen? Then he's, not, then he's not true to his word. Amen? Because he says that we're safe. We're safe under the blood. We are safe in the arms of God. Amen, brothers and sisters? Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. No evil. Amen? Glory to God. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm not going to listen to what man is saying. I'm going to listen to what Jesus is saying. I'm going to listen to what the word of God is saying. How about you? Romans chapter 13 and verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. The day of the Lord, that is. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, you don't need to be afraid. Amen? Make sure you're dressed in the full armor of God, the armor of light, because darkness is coming. Did you hear what I just said? Darkness is going to take over the earth and gross darkness the people. But you don't need to be afraid. Praise God. You don't need to be worried. If you're sheltered in the arms of God, brothers and sisters, if you're trusting in the Most High God, you don't need to be worried, be afraid. Amen? The ones that need to be worried and afraid are the ones that are not trusting in the Lord. Amen? They're not safe. Those that are not under the blood of Jesus, those that are not dressed in the full armor of God, they're not ready. They're not ready to stand. Amen. 
So listen, you don't need to hear it on the news. You don't need to hear about it on the news. What's happening in the streets? It's right here in front of you. Iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. Lawlessness is going to abound. You don't need to hear it from Fox News, CNN, or any of the other news stations. It's right here in front of you. Praise God. But you and I are not appointed unto wrath. Praise God. Jesus Christ is our deliverer. Amen. He's promised to keep us. Amen. He said, if you'll keep my word, I will keep you from the hour of temptation that shall come upon all the world to try them that are upon the earth. If you'll keep my words, I will keep you. Amen. Oh, I feel the presence of the Lord. Dear God, don't look down, don't look around, look up, look up, our redemption is drawing near, our complete state of release, be ready, watch and pray without ceasing. Watch and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things and stand before the Son of Man. This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Are you listening? Heaven and earth It's going to pass away. But God's word shall not pass away. Not one jot or tittle till all has been fulfilled, brothers and sisters. Amen. God upholds all things by the word of his power. Don't you think you can put your trust in it? He upholds all things by the word of his power. Amen. Dear God, let him uphold you. Amen. Let the Lord hold you. Let the Lord uphold you. Let him strengthen you. Let him make you a warrior. Let him make you an overcomer. Amen. The world is going to be afraid. Terror is going to take over the world. They're trying to bring in their new world order, folks. Are you listening? They are desperate to get this plan of theirs in action. A lot of it has to do with the fact that some of them are getting close to dying and they want to see it before they die. So they're getting anxious. Are you listening? I'm sure Rockefeller would have liked to have been around to see it be put into action. But he didn't make it. But old Soros, he doesn't want to miss the show, huh? But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, their, their new world order is going to be short-lived. Amen? Their world government's going to be short-lived because... God is going to intervene. Oh, yeah. Are you listening to me? It's not going to go according to their plans. No, no, no. It's going to go according to God's plan. Amen? And anything God does not stamp his approval on is not going to happen. They think they're in charge. They think they're in control. These sorcerers. Are you listening? 
But they're not in control. They're not in control at all. They're mere men. Are you listening? They're mere men with wild imaginations. Are you listening? Seduced, being seduced by Satan, the prince of darkness. Amen. That's why we must put on the whole armor of God, the light. Be clothed with the light, folks. Amen. Because darkness is coming. Gross darkness is coming. Amen. But if you're in the light, as he is in the light, you don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be afraid. Blessed be his name. Because the scripture tells us, greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. Now, what are you going to believe? You're going to believe your doubts and your fears and what man is saying, or are you going to believe what Jesus has said? It's time to take God at his word, people. Amen? I was prophesied over years ago when I first got saved. I tell you this night, my son, you shall be a warrior in my kingdom. And I don't think I'm the only one. Amen? The Lord's not calling you and I to be warriors all together here on this earth. He's calling us up. Amen? Because uh, his warriors are going to return with him in white. Fine linen. Amen? Riding on white horses. The chariots of God. The flashes of glory. Amen? The flashes of the kingdom of God, the angels, the glories coming. Glory to God. Are you going to be in that number when the Lord returns? Praise the Lord. The king is coming. Amen. The king of kings and the Lord of lords is coming. Be ready. Be ready. In the hour you think not, he's coming. Praise the Lord. If you're not with him, you're not coming with him. Oh, I feel the presence of the Lord. He's calling. He's calling us up. He's calling us up. Those that can hear his voice, come up hither. That's what he's doing. Not everyone can hear his voice. John says he heard that voice, and immediately he was in the spirit. Amen? But John was not caught up like the bride is going to be caught up. He saw... He saw a dream, right? He saw a vision. Are you listening? But the bride's not going to see a dream or a vision. The bride is going to be caught up to God and to his throne. Hallelujah. Mortality swelled up in life. Amen. Dear God, it's real, people. It's real. It is real. Glory to God. It's more real than anything on this earth. God's kingdom is coming. Amen? God's kingdom is coming. We're going to be looking at this if the Lord wills. Going to be dealing with the book of Daniel. The kingdom's coming, folks. The saints that are going to possess the kingdom. Oh, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. The saints took the kingdom. Amen. Praise God. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. 
Amen? I'm glad that he's more than just a story. He is the king of glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Amen. Again, don't be afraid. Fear not. Fear not. Be not afraid. Come hide yourself. Come hide yourself under his wings. Come hide yourself in the secret place. Amen. In the refuge. The most high. Hide yourself, as it were, for but a moment until the Lord's indignation is overpassed. Amen. His wrath, the Bible says, is for but a moment. Just a moment. When you compare it to eternity, it's just a moment. Amen. Let's be looking up, folks. Let's be looking up. Make sure there's no attachments to this world. Cast off the weights, the sin that does so easily beset you. Let's finish this race. Amen? Let's cross the finish line. Henceforth there's laid up for me a crown, and not only for me, but all for those that are also love his appearing. Amen. I really believe, brothers and sisters, that my departure's at hand. How about you? You ready to depart? Are you ready to take your flight? Amen. This thing is real. And it's about to happen. It could happen any moment. Any moment. Glory to God. It can happen right now while I'm preaching. Glory to his name. I'm sitting with him in heavenly places right now. Amen. Glory to God. The Lord's speaking, folks. If we have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. What I notice what the Lord is saying is overall, the overall tone of this whole message, what I hear Jesus say, fear not, be not afraid. It is I. God bless you. We've got the power in the name of Jesus. 